We are all pedestrians at some point in the day, whether walking to work, a friend's house, or to the bus stop. Even walking to your parked car, you are a pedestrian. Walking is the nation's most popular form of recreation, and all you need are good shoes. It's a simple and important thing to do for your health. Moderate activity a few times a day, like walking, can help fend off heart disease and other illnesses caused by inactivity. The Surgeon General recommends at least 30 minutes of moderate activity daily, and that can be done 10 minutes at a time. Walking is a way people of all ages can get around. It's the simplest mode of transportation. 40% of trips made nationwide are less than two miles, which is a reasonable walking distance. Walking can be quicker than you think. The average person can walk a quarter mile, equivalent to four city blocks, in five minutes. But pedestrians are a vulnerable user of the transportation system, especially youth and seniors. It's everyone's responsibility to keep pedestrians safe. As our community grows and more people share the street, we need to show extra care in observing traffic laws. Anytime you are behind the wheel, be aware of pedestrians. When walking, be aware of cars anytime you step off the curb. Here's a quick overview of traffic laws that affect pedestrians. You can cross the street at the intersection of any two streets, whether a crosswalk is marked or not. Vehicles are legally required to yield to you at intersections, but be cautious. At traffic signals, obey the law and cross with the walk signal. At any intersection, with or without a signal, vehicles must stop if a pedestrian is in their half of the roadway. Likewise, vehicles must stop if a pedestrian is within one lane of their half of the roadway. Once the pedestrian is beyond one lane of their half of the roadway, the vehicles may go. The law also states, at any one-way street or two-lane road, drivers must stop for pedestrians for the entire length of the crossing. If you cross mid-block between two intersections that do not have signals, it's legal, although pedestrians do not have the right of way. Pedestrians must yield to motor vehicles in that situation. If you cross mid-block between two intersections that do have signals, it is illegal. Pedestrians are required to cross at the signalized intersection in that situation. When you are waiting to cross at an unsignalized intersection, wait for an adequate gap in traffic. Show your intention to cross and make eye contact with approaching motorists. Allow drivers ample time to stop. As motorists and pedestrians, even when we all obey the law, conflicts can occur. The most common conflict is the right turn on red. As a motorist, never make a right turn on red without first coming to a complete stop. Look for and yield to pedestrians who are crossing with the signal. As a pedestrian, be aware of this conflict and make eye contact with drivers before you cross in front of them. When making left turns, drivers are often focused on oncoming traffic, especially while making left turns across multiple lanes. As a rule, always scan for pedestrians at intersections before making a turn. Use caution when passing another vehicle that is stopped at an intersection. They may be stopped for a pedestrian you cannot see. As a pedestrian, be aware of this situation. When crossing or entering a street, be sure to look for pedestrians on the sidewalk or shoulder to your right and left, especially at one-way streets. You may be focused on the traffic coming from one direction, but remember to look for pedestrians walking towards you from the other direction. Always obey the speed limit. Speed limits are posted for a reason. For instance, a pedestrian that is struck by a vehicle traveling 40 miles per hour or faster has only a 15% chance of survival. It's never worth it to speed. When you are driving, remember the weight and force of your vehicle relative to a pedestrian. 
A pedestrian is no match for a 4,000 pound car. Here's a quick overview of traffic signals for pedestrians. When the signal shows a steady walk or the person walking symbol, it's okay to cross, but watch for turning vehicles. The flashing red don't walk or hand symbol tells the pedestrian they should not step off the sidewalk and begin crossing. If you are already in the crosswalk when the signal starts to flash, finish crossing. Once the signal starts to flash, a pedestrian that has already begun to cross will have enough time to complete the crossing. If the signal shows the steady don't walk or hand symbol, don't start crossing. Wait for the next walk signal. Sometimes a pedestrian will arrive at a signal and the light is green for cars, but the don't walk signal is showing. This is because there is not enough time left in the signal cycle to allow you to cross. In this case, the pedestrian must wait for the next cycle for the walk signal. Roundabouts have been installed in some locations instead of traffic signals. One of the benefits of a roundabout is it moves traffic more slowly. At a roundabout, pedestrians typically have a crossing island midway through the crossing. This allows you to cross half the street at a time. It is okay to wait at a crossing island until there is a gap in traffic and you feel safe completing the crossing. When you are entering or exiting a roundabout, always stop for pedestrians waiting to cross, either at the curb or at the crossing island. Because there is no red light, motorists must be alert to pedestrians and stop when one is present. Some crosswalks are equipped with in-pavement lighting that serves as a warning system for motorists. The lights tell motorists a pedestrian is present. As a pedestrian, keep in mind the lights are not protection. You must still use your own judgment and cross when you feel it is safe. Here are some key points about pedestrian safety we can share with children. Look left, right, and left again before stepping into the street. When there is no sidewalk present, walking on the edge of the road or in a bike lane is appropriate as long as you are facing traffic. When walking during the day, wear light or bright clothing. At night, wear reflective material and carry a light. When walking or driving, be predictable, be respectful, make eye contact, don't be in a hurry. Know the law and obey it. As a motorist, avoid distractions such as talking on a cell phone so that you are always prepared to stop for pedestrians. Always scan the street, particularly at intersections, for pedestrians. Always stop for pedestrians who are in the crosswalk. It's the law. Next time you are making a short trip, consider walking. Walk to the store, to visit a friend, or run an errand. If you live close to work, try walking. Walking is a chance to be outside, relax, and see something new.